Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're making chiles toreados. Ole! <laughs> For this recipe, I'm gonna use about six chiles serranos. These I'm gonna leave the stems on, but I'm also gonna use about eight jalapenos. These I remove the stems, remove the seeds, and I cut them into strips like these. And I'm also gonna use half a white onion roughly chopped. I'm gonna use a little bit of avocado oil. You can also use olive oil, vegetable oil, or manteca, whichever one you prefer. Salt, salt, a little bit of salt, and Maggi Hugo, and that's all we need. Now to get started with the recipe, we're gonna start by heating up the oil. Let's turn this up. Make sure it's right in the middle. And we're gonna start by heating up the oil. I, this is about a third of a cup. While I'm doing this, he's gonna go back to the camera and help record it so we can get uh, some video of what I'm doing here in the, in the pan. Zoom! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start by adding the serrano peppers. And before we put them in the oil, let me turn this down so it doesn't get too hot. We're gonna make small incisions, a few small incisions in the pepper. This is gonna help the pepper cook on the inside and it will also keep it from um, breaking open as they fry in the oil. I'm gonna leave the stems on, but you can take them off if you want to. It's up to, completely up to you. And we're gonna add these first. And these I already made the incisions ahead of time. So just make sure they're dry because these are a little bit wet. If you add them into the oil, if they're wet, it's gonna splatter quite a bit. So let me grab a paper towel so we can pat these dry. Yeah, we don't want that splattering because then it's gonna splatter on your face. That's the worst when it splatters on your face and you're like, ah! Must be so we can move them around. Let's turn this down a little bit because we don't want them to too fast. Okay, so now we have the peppers in there. See, one of them must have been a little bit wet. Now we're gonna add the slices. Ooh. And we make these, we use them for, um, on the sides of tacos, this, uh, favorite recipes, chilaquiles, torta, whatever you wanna use them from. When we're done with these, we're gonna enjoy them on some tostadas de sour cream. Those are the best. And we're just gonna let these cook for a little bit. Mm, my mouth is watering already because I love chile toreados. And the jalapenos are pretty much for um, the ones that don't like it too spicy, but like that flavor of the jalapenos. I added the chile serranos for those that do like the spiciness. The serranos are very hot. The jalapenos are not. Sometimes they can be a little bit hot, but not too much. At the store, you can find them and they're usually really big. When they're that size, they're usually not that spicy. But when, uh, see like this one right here, this one is um, jalapeno. So this one might be a little bit spicy because it's not too big. You just gotta be careful with those sometimes. Sometimes they can sneak up on you too with the spiciness, so. Ooh, look at that. Smells good already. I'm gonna leave this in here for about five, seven minutes. The time can vary depending on how hot your pan is. So I like them to cook nice and slow so they don't burn and you don't, they're not too fail. Look at that. Nice and slow. I lo dejamos un ratito and then we'll check up on it again. My mouth is watering and everything because I love chiles. I've been eating hot, spicy stuff since I was a little girl. And to me, food is just not the same if you don't have salsa or some type of a spicy condiment to go with your food. Ah, splattering on my face. What is this? Mira que bonito. Tiene que dar bien rico. Now we're gonna add in the onion. Yeah, we're gonna mix that in a little bit. 
gusto. Y then I'm going to season with salt. Ya sería el gusto to your liking. We're also going to add a few dashes of Maggi Hugo. Now the Maggi Hugo, you can use Maggi Hugo or you can use um, soy sauce. But the Maggi Hugo adds nice flavor to it. So just a few dashes. And pretty much that's it. That's it. I like mine slightly caramelized, just slightly done. I don't want mine too overly done because then it gets too soft. Mira que ricura esto. Qué ricura. También le voy a echar tantito Mexican oregano. This is completely optional, but I like the, the flavor that it gives the chile. So we're gonna just sprinkle it over the chiles like that. And then just mix it in. And ahora sí, we're gonna turn it off. And we're gonna cover it and just let the chiles continue to cook in the heat of the pan. And that's it. Super easy to make and they are super delicious to enjoy with your favorite dishes. Now we're gonna prepare some tostadas with uh, frijoles or crema so we can enjoy some of these chiles. Okay? We're gonna make our own tostadas. You can use store bought, but I like to make my own tostadas because they taste better. Vamos a preparar las tostaditas. Ándale, vente a comer una tostadita. Oh, hurry up, because my mouth is watering! Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. All right, okay. let's do this. So these are the tostadas that we made. Nice and crunchy. Can I go ahead with you? Yeah, go for it. I'm going to make mine, and he's going to make yours. What do you want to make yours with? Uh, Uh, I'm going to make one with frijolitos. Do you Ooh. want beans or crema? Oh, uh, crema. Or one of each. Uh, you know what? Can we do the beans, a little crema on the top, chiles, Yeah, whatever. And then However cheese? you want to make it. Go for it. I'm yeah, I, I had these with, uh, instead of beans, I made with uh, um, smashed potatoes con chile guajillo, and it's mm, delicious. But we're going to make beans today. This was a quick and easy, this was a quick recipe that I made this morning beans to mine maybe mm. a lot of beans because i love beans what i'm gonna do i grew up eating lots of beans i'm gonna do crema on mine like that i'm gonna add both how about we do both yeah i'm gonna start off with the crema on mine first make sure i get the mm. crema all over Ooh, yeah you want to switch okay let's switch switch switcheroo all right okay i'm just gonna Dabble it because I don't want to get crema on the, I mean frijoles on the spoon. You know what? Agarra otra cucharita si quieres. No, I'm going to do this. Queso fresco. I'm just a little bit. I don't want to get beans on the spoon. Oh. Yeah. Con puro quesito. Con puro quesito and crema. How's that? And then I'll have one with beans. <laughs> and another. <laughs> and another. Mmm. Gracias, échale los chiles. Yo soy una golosa. Yo le echo todo. Ooh, let's see. Let me try one with crema and the chiles because the chiles are going to give it a nice little saborcito. Saborcito, mira. Ooh. Échale, tú échale. Onion. It was a live one. <laughs> My bad. How's that? Ooh. And how's that? My mouth is watering. I can't wait to take a bite. Lamas. There we go. Because we're not afraid. We're not afraid. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can hold it oh. if you want to. Oh, okay. Ah, se me cayó más vivos. A mí me gusta mucho cebollita. That's why I like to add the onion because I love the onion. Luego el... el El orégano le da un sabor bien sabroso. Y orégano gives it a nice flavor. Los oh, chiles también. Mira, me voy a comer uno entero. Yeah, a ver si no me sale muy picoso. On the side right there too. Es que no quieren salir chiquitos. Están, están escondiéndose. Me temen los chiles. Well, there's some right here. 
Regia. Así me gusta que me teman, que me tengan miedo. Ya, 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 Mira nomás, qué ricura. Mm. With me. No, it's just showing. With me. <laughs> ¿Tienes más queso, Anto? No, 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 this is good. This is good. You gotta make sure. Everybody says, no, it's edited. They didn't try it. Yes, yes, yes we right did. We eat everything. <laughs> Ready? Salud, salud, saludcita. <laughs> Here we go. La mordida. 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 Mm. I feel like I have beans all over my face. Oh my gosh, this is good. so good. Simple, quick, but so delicious. Great botana. The jala, the serrano, mm. you can actually enjoy it. It's you know, not sometimes too... it's hot and spicy. You're like, oh man, it's just too hot. I can't enjoy it. This one, you can actually enjoy the Ooh, flavor of it. These are spicy. Like these bad boys right here. Oh my goodness, that, those are really spicy because it was yeah. really tiny. You can spicy? enjoy the flavor of it. Yeah, it's a little bit spicy, but you can enjoy the flavor of them. It's not like, oh man, those are too hot and then I just spit it out. No, these mm. are really good. Mm. I mean, nothing. Mm. And that's a mm. You're gonna need it. <laughs> Well, these are really good. I hope you guys give this recipe a try because it's super easy and delicious. I'm gonna go back to eating our tostadas. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna have a frijole one. Yeah, this one, the frijoles with the crema is really good. Mmm. Mmm. Rico? Mm-hmm. Delicious. I hate the whole thing. It's great. Woo! Look at it. Get another one.